Hey, this is Alex Power and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create a black cinematic bars for your video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Let's get started. There is at least a three methods that I know on how to do that. I will show you the two easiest ones today. Uh, the third one involves some animation and you can also do that but that would be a longer one and we're not gonna cover this today, maybe in some other tutorial. The first matter that's actually very simple, you just drag and drop the preset right on top of the clip, extend this to the length of the clip and there you go, you have this cinematic bars right there. I will leave a link for this preset download in the description, it's absolutely free and you can download and enjoy the cinematic bar preset. There is one disadvantage though. When you watch the video on a widescreen, you will have something like that, a square box. And it doesn't look good to me as an editor. But if you're creating the video just for YouTube, most of your viewers don't have a widescreen monitor and they would not going to be able to notice the difference between this method and the second one that I'm going to show in a minute. Here comes the second method. We're going to go ahead and create a new sequence. And I will keep it at default settings here, 30 frames per second. Click OK. And we'll go to the sequence settings. We will keep the first value of the horizontal frame size at default, 1920. But the second vertical value we will change to 822. And press OK. As you can see, the screen is already stretched the way we need it. So I will just drag and drop this footage onto a timeline. And I would want it to keep existing settings for this sequence. Now when you play it back and you watch it on a regular monitor, you will see a black bars, but it's actually not a black bars, just the footage smaller and it's not been baked in on top of that. So the footage itself is just stretched and presented in a certain way. So that would be a more professional way to do it. Now if someone will watch this footage on a widescreen monitor, it will fill the entire space of this particular monitor, which is pretty cool. One more tip that works for both methods. The footage actually is larger than our frame that we're gonna render. So if I wanna reveal something on top or on the bottom, I'll just go to the vertical position and I can just drag it up and down and reveal that particular object or person. And that's how you create a black cinematic bars for your video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe like, drop a comment and press this bell notification button that you won't miss any of the future videos that I release on this channel. See you next time.